new year, new month, new beginnings. We, we're really excited. But, yeah. you know, in the whole theme and, you know, mindset of doing new things, there's someone who's joined us on the set this morning. About two people have joined us on the set two this people. morning. Yeah. Who are, I think they are maestros and mavericks at doing new things. Um, we've been joined on the set this morning. And you want to do the introduction? Sure, why not? Yeah. Um, I'm trying not to fangirl, but... No, but it's, it's difficult. This. No, it it's is. really difficult. No, but I mean... I mean, and for both, for both of for them. For both of them. Right. You know, I mean... If, if you've been hiding under a rock and you haven't heard of mm. Rosma St. John, mm. she's the president's special envoy on uh -huh. diaspora affairs, uh -huh. and uh -huh. she's been doing a lot. She'll talk, talk to us about that. She's also the former CMO of Netflix. Yeah. Um, we're, great. we're really, really grateful to have her on set this morning. Sam Barrington is a former NFL player, and he's the founder of Sky Limit and Treasure Island. Yeah. Trust me, this is going to be a great conversation. Good morning to you both, Thank and you. welcome yeah. to Breakfast Good morning. Day. Good morning. Now, great to have you, you know, uh, I said this thing about new beginnings. When we hear former, former means you started mm -hmm. something new, because it's just by inference. Now, you, Bozoma, you've, you're a former uh, Facebook, former Netflix, former Uber, former, I mean, the <laughs> formers are a lot, okay? Uh, Sam, you also, I mean, I'm sure there are other formers that we don't know about, but the NFL is there, you know. Yeah. Let's talk about you being in Ghana. Right. How has Ghana been for you? Uh, let's start with Sam. <clears throat> you know what, it's been amazing. Uh, the first time I traveled to Ghana, I was 14 years old. Okay. So I was an African-American who grew up in America. Okay only hearing about what Africa was about, you know, and my father was here living on the continent, okay. just across the motorway in Tema, oh. and um, I would always just dream and fantasize about coming back to Ghana. So I've, I, I think I, I, and I cherish my perspective so much because mm. I grew up in America not knowing who Africa was. Now I've got the opportunity to learn Africa, learn Ghana through mm. these past 18 years, and I can truly say that I am a huge fan, my heart is here, and there's not enough to be said about the growth and the progress that Ghana has mm -hmm. made over mm -hmm. not just the past 20, 30, and 50 years, yeah. but the 18 years that I've been, been fortunate here. enough to travel yeah. back myself. Yeah. Um, this time, I mean, every, every experience or every trip brings new experiences. Um, so for me personally, I'm just very grateful, have a tremendous amount of gratitude um, for finding my tribe. Yeah. Um, Leader of the yeah. tribe, Bo's right here, right? <laughs> <laughs> Who better to lead your tribe? Who bets yeah. it. Um, but Who just bets so it. many people, um, yeah. and, and you know, that we'll share with you who mm. not only joined us at the special event yeah. that we had at Treasure Island, but just so many people who are here making a diaspora, mm. some people who actually live mm. here in Ghana. Yeah. Um, just a tremendous group of people, a yeah. special group of people. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bozo, tell us. As the leader of the tribe, um, you know, <laughs> special title. envoy uh, to the president's, um, of, the, of the president to the, um, on the um, 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 diaspora affairs. Um, what, prior to that, I mean, of course, you, you, you know Ghana, um, you know, and all of that, but you also, you've also lived in an American experience. You have all, both experiences, pretty much as some as well. Yeah. But this season of Ghana's life, how has Ghana treated you? How do yes, you see yes. Ghana? Oh gosh, well, first I fish up. Uh, mm. You know, I'm, I'm so, so glad to be here. Um, as you can tell by my voice, mm -hmm. I've been having a great time. Oh, it's been, oh. It's been that mm. kind of a holiday. It's been, been, it's been, it's been, been so that kind of holiday. It's, it's been so sweet. It's been so good. Um, but, you know, I think similar to Sam, mm. when, um, you know, the call to Ghana has been constant for me. Mm. You know, um, kind of opposite from him, though, I spent the formative years here and moved to the U.S. when I was 12. Mm. And so I went to the U.S. Um, with a base knowing what Ghana mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. uh, understanding that there was misrepresentations of yeah. us yeah. in yeah. the diaspora yeah. and in America. There were so many images that I saw that I knew were untrue. Mm -hmm. They didn't paint the full picture, let's yeah. say it that way. Right. Yeah. And so as an adult, and of course in my work in marketing, I know the power of a story. Mm -hmm. I know how it changes perception. Yeah. I know how it influences people. Mm -hmm. uh, and so when I met the president in 2017 and he was just about to declare the year of return yeah. for 2019, mm -hmm. I knew that I wanted to be part 
of shaping what that story was going to be. Right. I understood, like I said, the power of it, mm -hmm. you know, and, and mm -hmm. what it means when somebody has a richer perspective. Mm -hmm. yes. And so it became my personal mission, not just professional, but okay. personal mission okay. to show people uh, the good time mm. in Ghana, mm. you know, because mm. it's like, look, we can talk about economic yeah. challenges, yeah. we can show all of the things that people do for charity. Mm. Um, none of that is wrong, but we have to balance the story. Yeah. You Absolutely. know, we want to see the richness of food and mm. fashion yeah. and music yeah. and the nightlife yeah. and yeah. the shopping yeah. and experiences like mm. Treasure Island. Mm. You know, mm. there's so much to see. Yeah. You have the best of both perspectives, as, as you've already alluded to, right? On either side of the ocean, was it a tough sell? Was this something where, for the African Amu Af American community that you deal with, mm. did you have to really convince? On the Ghanaian side, did you have to explain? What mm. was the understanding like oh, from both sides? What a great question. Mm. I mean, honestly, yeah, a lot of it yeah. is selling. You know, a lot of it is selling. Because like I said, there's, mis there's misunderstandings. Yes. Perceptions are wrong. Mm -hmm. And so yes, for a lot of friends, um, both celeb and non, mm. um, the conversation about why to come here, yeah. especially exactly. at this time, you know, when you could go to Saint-Tropez, hmm. or you yeah. could be in Maldives, yeah. or somewhere in the Caribbean, yeah. right. Uh, and say, no, come to Ghana. Places that are known for tourism. Yes, yeah. right. and known, known for, for a good time. Mm, yeah. exactly. You know what I mean? If yeah. somebody says, oh, you, you want to go to Saint Tropez or you want to go to Accra? Or you want to go to Treasure Year's. Island in Ghana? You know what I mean? Why like, should they come? Yeah, yeah. Right. why should they come? <laughs> yeah. why? So it's like, look, I think part yeah. of it is that you have to show people. Mm. You know, so yes, I want to convince as much as possible, but I'm like, I promise you if you come, I will show you a good time. Yeah. Um, and so now we have the benefit of obviously lots of content. Yes. that we can share. Yeah. Um, yeah. The good time on Treasure Island this past <laughs> weekend, uh, as I said, you can tell yeah. what happened. It's all in the voice. I think you're one of the queens no. of social media storytelling. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes I watch your social media, and I'm not someone who has FOMO, no. Yeah. When you watch Buzz <laughs> social media, you're like, how does she do this? Yeah. I think it's so attractive. Yeah. It, it's definitely a skill and a gift. I, I, I yeah. want to find out. So. Robert Louis Stevenson, many years ago, wrote a book called Treasure Island. That's my experience of Treasure Island. What birthed Treasure Island for you? What was it that said, I want to do this. I'm yeah. going to create a Treasure Island. Mm -hmm. Well, I can tell you, my father, um, Sam Sr., who's the founder, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I pretty much had the benefit of riding his coattail mm -hmm. and uh, taking Treasure Island in to places that he probably didn't see. But mm -hmm. when you talk about the foundation, when you talk about the idea mm -hmm. and the imagination, it has all come from a man who's very well traveled, mm -hmm. uh, well experienced, and who, um, just like Bose, he's tasked with. Um, showing people a good time here on the continent. <laughs> Not because we're just entertainers or hospitality, uh, 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 you know, connoisseurs. connoisseurs. You know, yeah. Yeah, we'll take those titles, but not. But it's, it's our duty to um, kind of clean up the misconceptions of what Africa is or what Ghana is. Mm. And so even myself, when we first started to think about the namesake, um, Treasure Island came and he just wanted it to truly be a treasure or a gift of experience mm. for people. And, and then, you know, and I'm hoping that in the very near future you guys get to attend. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> the yeah. journey that yeah. it takes to get to Treasure Island, mm. and then when you actually see the place, it's the same and it's parallel to actually going on a treasure hunt and finding your treasure. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really? Exactly. So nice. We're, people are watching right now, maybe somewhere, you know, where, not far from where we're sitting, um, and they say, okay, Treasure Island, how do I get to Treasure Island? Walk us through mm -hmm. a layperson, first time experience to get to Treasure Island. Yeah. Well, I can tell you, but I'd like both to kind of speak <laughs> okay, about okay, her experience. Okay. Because yes. So, so, <laughs> so you've been how many times? Well, the first time I went was in August okay. of this okay. year. So tell we us about the August trip. Ooh, okay. Well, first of all, talk about a sale. He definitely convinced me 
to go visit okay. Okay. Uh, when we met in August. Mm. And I think it might have been the second thing he said outside of, mm -hmm. I am Sam Barrington. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, come to Treasure Island. Island. And I was like, I, I don't know and what, what you're is talking about. <laughs> if, I can, if I can interject, the primary yeah. reason why is because I know what she's about. Mm -hmm. I know what she's trying to get done. And in my opinion, obviously I'm biased at the time, yeah. you can't mention Ghana in a good time in Ghana yeah. without mentioning Treasure Island. Sure. So I was just trying to add to yeah. her arsenal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. He, he was basically like, I don't understand why you haven't been, yeah. you know? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it's interesting because we really didn't know each other at all, mm -hmm. um, but I trusted what he said. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I said, all right. And I went by myself, yeah. you oh, know? Wow. Okay. Um, took a car from okay. Accra, okay. an hour and a half, to Adan, mm -hmm. and then a little boat ride across. And I'm telling you, the approach mm. to Treasure Island mm. is worth the trip. Oh, you know, wow. it's like the you get on the boat and you see it coming. Mm -hmm. And even the sign alone wow. is a treasure chest. And it just looks like a mirage <laughs> in the middle of the water. And it just you know? shows up. Oh, man, it's so beautiful. Wow. And so by the time I landed, I was like, Oh, I'm you so don't have to, like, yeah, <laughs> so you don't have, have to tell me anything else. And then I saw the camels, yeah. and then I saw the horses, and then I saw the jet skis. Wait, 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 in fact, the other night... In Adan, there are camels. Let me tell you something. Uh -huh. They came and joined us for dinner the other night are when I was serious? there. Yes. The camels came to eat. We were sitting at dinner, and then I saw a camel coming by, and I was like... <laughs> I You're like, what's up? Go green. Yeah. Where are we going? Um, oh, we're going. <laughs> we're, but today's a holiday, actually. So exactly. Maybe, yes. maybe at 10 or 1. <laughs> yes. We'll take a car to Adan, yes. and, then the, and then the boat yes. trip. Yes, yes. Yeah, so but, Okay, I'm already intrigued. Yes. Just uh, by yeah, what this you is, said. This is fascinating. This is fascinating. Okay, so you've got this nice partnership going on now between Treasure Island and Beyond the Return. And you've yeah. done this with so many events yeah. and the whole December and GH feel. How did that come up as part of the agenda for promoting Ghana, yeah. partnering with events and locations to showcase that side of Ghana yeah. as well? Well, it's always been, like Sam said, um, a mission to show more, a more well-rounded view. Mm. Yes. You know, so when I began the program in 2018 really was the start of it brought a hundred friends, mm -hmm. like again, Remember, some yeah. Yeah. celebrities in Hollywood, some really influential business friends, you know, just a well-rounded group of people. Yeah. And it was the mission to show as many locations as possible. You know, we went to Sky Bar and Front mm. Back and mm. Twist Station, mm -hmm. you know, and <laughs> Buka and Asmira. And, you know, we just, and we visited stores like uh, Belinda Bedu's mm. shop mm. and, you know, Selena okay. Babb yes. and, uh, gosh, there's so many places, yeah. you know, we, we went yeah. everywhere. And so this year, I felt like, wow, could we create something right. that maybe people didn't expect? Mm. Because we've shown them all kind of different yeah, places in Accra, yeah. but nothing outside of Accra. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so what happens, it's like you shouldn't just come to Accra and stay in the capital. Yeah. And yeah. yes, of course, you know to go to Cape Coast. Mm. Yeah. You know to go to yeah. the castles yeah. at El Limina. Yeah. Right. You know all that stuff, but do you know that you can go for some respite somewhere yes. else? Yeah. And so I um, decided that instead of showcasing all these different places in Accra, just laser focus everything mm. on Treasure Island. Mm. And so not just do a party, the yeah. 31st night, yeah. but like have people come in during the day. Okay. Okay. See the camels. Yeah. yeah. Have their horse ride. Yeah. Do the jet skis. Okay. Mm. Lay out by the pool. Mm. Go down the enormous slide. Eat the food. Have an mm. experience to treasure. Look. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And okay. then party till dawn. <laughs> wow. Okay. By the way, yes. yes. Just to cap it off, mm -hmm. in the morning, I won't say somebody didn't make it all the way to the morning, but <laughs> I and a bunch of people, yeah. I think we were probably about 40 people strong at that point. We started out with 200. We came down to 40. We took boats to um, an uninhabited part of the beach mm. and watched the sun come up Aww. over the horizon wow. Ooh, at wow. the place where the Volta River and the Atlantic Ocean oh, yeah, or the Gulf the of Guinea okay. come oh, together. Okay. Yeah. Magical, wow. absolutely magical. It's the only wow. way I ever want to see the dawn of a new year. Wow. Okay, now here's a question people have asked quite a bit about the whole year of return, beyond the return, should we say agenda. Mm -hmm. What do you say to people who say, well, this comes across as a bit elitist. This doesn't appeal to people outside of a certain income bracket. 
mm -hmm. this is only being marketed to people of a certain ilk. Mm. What do you say to people who, who give you that feedback? You know, I think you can look at anything on the outside and assume or have a preconceived notion. Mm. I encourage people to educate themselves. I encourage people to reach out and just ask. Yeah. Because I can guarantee you, anybody who shows any interest in this experience, we're about tribe. That was one of the first words I said. Mm. We're going to yeah. bring people along yeah. or find ways to make this experience possible mm -hmm. for anybody who wants to be a part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the capacity that we have to get that done is very high. Mm -hmm. So again, education, um, information, and just reach out and ask questions. Um, we're going to continue to curate these type of experiences for years to come. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. if it's not now, if it's not next week, maybe it's next year. But again, just reach out to us. Mm -hmm. um, social media enables everybody to get in somebody else's network. As, mm -hmm. a, as a matter of fact, yeah. I reached out to Bozama uh, back in 2018 via DM. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it came <laughs> through a relationship that I gained through social media. Okay. So we have the power of social media, so let's use it to get the information you need to be a part of this experience. I like that. Yeah. And if I can add to yeah. that too, um, you know, I was actually very surprised when I went to Treasure Island uh, casually after that August trip okay. um, to see how many local yeah. Ghanaians visit, mm -hmm. you know, mm. some on day trips and some to spend a weekend. Okay. Um, I was really surprised by that because to your point, I think sometimes we look at these experiences where like, oh, you can only do it if you have yeah, you know, exactly. so much yeah. money. Yeah. And it's like, that's not it. Like, mm. I think as Ghanaians, we have to also frequent and do staycations yeah. in our yeah. own place. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then, you know, of course, as a marketer, mm. I know that the biggest way to influence a lot of people is yes, to go to the top, yeah. Yeah. you know? So yeah. it's a top down approach. Mm -hmm. We need the people at the very top who have a lot of influence, who have a lot of disposable income to come and spend here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we want them to come here and spend mm -hmm. on our local economy. Mm -hmm. And so we need to have them come. And then at the same time, we want everyone to mm -hmm. enjoy the experience yeah. too. Mm -hmm. It becomes yeah. aspirational. Correct. Yeah. And yeah. if I can add one, one more thing, definitely visit Treasure Island, um, treasureislandghana.com, mm -hmm. and the same handle on Instagram, Treasure Island Ghana. Visit those websites. Our prices are listed on the website, and everybody see it's a very affordable experience. It's not something that sky, the prices aren't skyrocketed, and there's packages tailored to if you just want to come over and do a day trip. And there's obviously rooms from standard economy mm -hmm. all the way up to executive suite style. So mm -hmm. it's yeah. it's it's pretty much catered to the mm -hmm. family for everybody to mm -hmm. come and have an mm -hmm. experience. Oh, I'm already I think they want to be in, in the penthouse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to be in the penthouse oh. suites, though. I oh, think nice. that's where you, I mean, you want to be. You know. it sounds, it sounds, <laughs> aspire. Aspire yeah, to the top. I know, right? Yeah. I know. 2023, <laughs> new things. Yeah, yeah. Okay, absolutely. so I think we're, we're seeing, yeah, we're seeing some nice snippets, imagery. Snippets from... Is this is this the thirty first night? Yes. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Bring it in fireworks. The that by the way, um, Sam Senior lit himself. Yeah. It, his dad lit those fireworks. It oh was really? Oh wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. He took he took special interest in making sure the fireworks show oh, was wow. just absolutely. Mm. And most of the time, you watch fireworks from maybe 300 feet back, yeah, but true. we yeah. were literally 100 feet up. <laughs> Nobody got hurt. It was an amazing experience. Wow. And, and fireworks were literally just bursting over our heads, yeah. listening to an amazing selection of music uh, selected by our team. And in addition to that, everybody yeah. had some nice champagne. Mm. Yes. Um, it was just an amazing experience. Yeah. 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 Now, um, uh, Bozuma, I, one of the things that irks me about our space, um, in Ghana, in terms of um, the cohesiveness of, we say we want tourists to come, mm. but somehow the things to put in place to make the experience mm. a fantastic one, it seems to be very spotty, mm. you know, so that even in the past, when you look at, let's say, the castles which you alluded to earlier, um, you, you arrive in Ghana, you want to go to the castles, but how smooth is the experience? Mm. And for me, one of the, uh, my thoughts is how do we improve the experience mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. people? Because people are coming. Yes. Um, as far back as 
2017, 2018, when the president started making the call and the likes of yourself, you know, bringing people in everything, people are coming. I mean, I've seen, I've seen uh, photos of, I think, uh, Chance the Rapper, this must be his yeah. third or fourth Lots time of back. Is happening. Um, yeah. uh, Charlemagne, the, the God, yes. he's, he's yeah. also back, he's in town. I saw, uh, you know, footage of him in town. Yeah. People are coming, right? How do yeah. we create these experiences and make sure that you come once, you definitely want to come back. Yes. With friends. Yes, yes, yes. And, and with and others. And with yeah. others. Well, I think it starts with, you know, our word of greeting. Mm. Akwaba, Akwaba is the way we are. You know, I tell people all the time, I'm like, look, I don't know how to say, you know, just like, hello. Mm. Akwaba is not just a greeting, it's mm. a way of being, mm. you know? And I, like I consider that. the fact that I, like that I am named an ambassador, mm. but I'm not the only one. Sam is an ambassador, mm. you are an ambassador. Mm. E every one of us, even if you are selling by the side of the road, you're an ambassador. You an ambassador. And so yeah. when somebody is coming here as a guest of ours, you know, not just the president, not just an executive or someone who owns a piece of property, but all of us are ambassadors. Mm. And it is all our, our collective responsibility to make sure that people enjoy mm. their experience, yeah. go back and tell other people how yeah. amazing it was. Yeah. I think that's the thing that makes me most proud mm. when I see, of course, the tags on social media. Yeah as always, yes. uh, and people say how incredible it was. Mm. Yesterday, to close out the event, um, we were really honored to have the second lady join us for lunch. Okay. Um, and we took a moment for everyone to stand up and tell her, not just introduce themselves, but tell her why they are here, what mm. they experienced. Mm. And it was overwhelming to, there were tears. I mean, it was just overwhelming to see how much people appreciated the big and the small. Mm. And so that's why I say that um, it's really important for all of us to take on the responsibility of being ambassadors. Mm. So you went from the year of return to beyond the return. What's beyond beyond the return? Yeah. <laughs> she wants to look into, like, into, into the future. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I don't know if I'm that powerful yeah. uh, to do that. I won't claim that. But what sure. are some of your but, thoughts? Yes. What are some of the things, you know, thought processes? Yeah. yeah. Uh, going into. That's like, I mean, look, I, I never want to do anything small. We know. Uh, yes. I think Sam accused me of setting my sights very, very high. Yeah. And I certainly <laughs> hold myself to that. To a certain degree, so um, I just want to get better, mm. bigger. I want more people to come. Mm. I want Ghana to be the place that is number one on Times list of places to visit. Mm. I want people who come here to visit to feel like this is the best experience yeah. of their lives, mm. yeah. not just because of the entertainment, but because mm. of culture. Yeah. I want Ghanaians to be prosperous. I want us to feel mm -hmm. the benefit yeah. of all of yeah. it. Okay. So talk to us about um, the, you know, the, uh, there's also the, the, the whole uh, people returning, wanting to be citizens, mm. and then, you know, right. um, the ceremony to get people, you know, their citizenship and all of that. Talk to us about some of the, yeah. the, the, the thinking and the plan, <coughs> and the, you know, the future of this. Yeah. yeah. I think, uh, and again, I, I go back to education and information. Mm. Um, everybody has their reason for why they want to get that done. Mm -hmm. For some people, there's a strategy behind it mm -hmm. that may involve some type of business. And then for some people, it's just a full circle moment mm -hmm. where they know for a fact that their ancestors left here mm -hmm. and this is their opportunity to return and mm -hmm. kind of complete the story and mm -hmm. do their ancestors work. Um, for me personally, I think it's twofold. Um, we can, we definitely need to take a vested interest in the economy if mm. we're looking to yeah. repatriate. Yeah. And I mean, mm -hmm. if you take a look at the overall value mm. of what African Americans do from a consumer standpoint mm. in America and mm. how, how well we contribute to that economy yeah. versus the equity that we own in America, it's a disproportionate amount yeah. and, and sometimes it's unsettling yeah. when you take a look at those two figures. Mm. So if we can take some of those dollars that mm. we spend in America and find a way to strategize and use them for well-being here in Ghana, mm. um, yeah. it would just 
and back to your question earlier, like what is Ghana's responsibility? Mm -hmm. Us as African Americans who are looking to repatriate, mm -hmm. it's not about just coming here for a good time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Contribute to the economy, learn the culture, yeah. and be a part of the society. Mm -hmm. um, so, so again, you talk about all those things. How do you get it done? How do you get citizenship? You know, people are talking about Ghana cars, visas, and passports, mm. education and information. Okay. Yeah. Find out somebody who's kind of mm. presented themselves as an ambassador. Get close to them. Um, find out what they're doing and mm. get get close to their network so you can get it done yeah. if you so choose to. Mm. Mm. I had the great privilege of um, sitting at the swearing in of mm. 139 people. Mm. Uh, I, guess, I guess that was like a week and a half ago. Mm. Um, it was, I don't, I don't think I can articulate, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, because some of those people came with me in 2018. Wow. Um, and it was just uh, wow. to know that they, it was the first time they came mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. a short time ago and that they would make the decision mm -hmm. to become citizens That's yeah. huge. of Ghana. Yeah. Yes. You know, I, I'm... Um, Gosh, I don't know if I have yeah. the words. And it makes me a little emotional, mm -hmm. you know? So. Yeah, I was actually going to ask you, in that yeah. moment when they said the words they were mm -hmm. saying, oh, how were you feeling Oof. watching all of that? I, maybe the, the, gosh, there's so much to say. Um, they had to take the pledge, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we sang the national anthem. Mm -hmm. They knew the words. <laughs> they, <did. laughs> they had their wow. Ghana That's flags. Yeah. Uh, and wow. maybe it was like even the moment where you know, it's that obviously the whole ceremony is about becoming the citizen, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But that moment when each name was called and they came up to the front mm -hmm. and that moment they received their document mm -hmm. and you could see mm -hmm. the emotion of it all. You know, some of it feeling like, gosh, there's a, a, re a true return. Yeah. yeah. Like you know, home. somebody said it yesterday. I don't remember who at our lunch, but um, they said that our, oh, I think it was Kui. He's a documentarian mm. from the U.S. And he said that, um, you know, the idea that ancestors who were taken from the continent, mm. their only dream, their only hope mm. was to return. One day. One day. Yeah. And they didn't. Yeah. And the fact that they, mm. their descendants, mm. can return. Yeah. And then take it a step further. You yeah. don't just return. Yeah. You become a citizen, citizen. Yeah. of yeah. this country. That's and then having them pledge yeah. to do better, mm. you know, by all of us. Yeah. It's just, it's a miraculous thing. And mm -hmm. you know what? Why not become a dual citizen? Yeah, yeah. Right. You can right. do right. it. Yeah. All yeah. of us can. Yeah. So I hope that's what's encouraged yeah. also. Yes. Wow. Fantastic. Hey. Okay. I'll tell you this. I think <laughs> yes. one of the other things, mm. you know, over the past two years, especially once we saw what happened with COVID, governments mm. all across the world mm. were given supplemental information income to people yeah, yeah. you had the influx of cryptocurrency mm. so we saw people make money in ways that you never saw before mm. right some of those people also through cryptocurrency and in other means lost the money mm. yeah but coming back to africa if you're an african-american or a person of color that is a wealth that you mm. can never lose mm. Mm. it's yeah. wealth and currency that yeah. you can never lose yeah. because how it settles your soul mm. how comfortable it makes you mm. and how your spirit is at rest yeah. when you return mm. back back home yeah. is something that can't be quantified oh wow thank Amen. you thanks so thank much you. Thank, thank you for you. all the different things it's like it's like we've done a we've done a a, a, a three-hour church somewhere <laughs> right just, you know 30 minutes but thank yes. you so much for coming thank you we're coming yes, to treasure absolutely. island though <laughs> oh we need we need to experience what no, you experience no, 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 it's, okay. it's definitely going to happen <laughs> oh it and has soon. to happen yes. it has soon. to happen it has yes. to happen yes. 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 Yeah. we've been speaking with uh sam barrington um he's the is the ceo of the um treasure island yeah. as well as bozoma st john now she I mean, her, her, her titles and, uh, <laughs> you know, things are just, you know, but the most important one for now is that she's a special envoy to the president mm -hmm. on diaspora affairs.